All right. We're back. So, yeah, we are oh. back. Like I was so. saying before, this part of the show is brought to you by Captain Morgan. You got a little captain in you. So Is that private stock? It is private stock. Oh, man, you classy. that's the expensive stuff. Yeah, man. It is. It is. I spare no expense. All right. Ice cream. It is your go. <laughs> what? Who's My turn? Okay. Uh, yeah. What, what would you like to do? Uh, you guys have pirates uh, on your uh, Sure, I cast Sleep on the blue ship. Uh, I didn't write it up. I use a level 2 version of the spell, though, and that's what I should have been doing if I was a responsible D&D player. But I don't have any of my books. Uh, D&D, uh, Bardic spell book. Sorry. I, I wrote it down, but I'm going to cast it as a level 2 instead of a level 1. So you get okay. like an extra... D eight or something like that. Ah, f I don't remember. S we're sleep. Okay. Uh, okay. So I cast sleep. Five D eight plus higher levels. I can get an extra two D eight. So I'll roll five uh, D eight, sixty eight, seventy eight. Okay. Okay. So I will cast sleep. I'm just gonna cast level one and then I'm just gonna roll extra. I guess. Or, wait, let's see what it does when I click it. Okay, never mind, there we go. <sighs> Alright, D8. Let's roll D4, 5, 6, 7, D8. So, 26 HP if people fall asleep. Okay. So, as you end up casting that spell um, over the decks of this ship, um, you do end up noticing that uh, several of the crew members just end up kind of slumping over um, at their posts. Um, you notice one guy kind of end up toppling off of, you know, the mast who is kind of rigging up some ropes and things like that, and you hear yeah. splash in the water. Um, there's a guy that seemed to be uh, manning a large harpoon at the front of the um, boat, um, who then uh, ends up kind of uh, slumping down and the harpoon ends up triggering and ends up firing off. And kills. And. Oh, shit. Does he kill the lot? The... Ah, fuck. So. As he fires it, it actually ends up shooting towards this ship. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> and rams it uh, right in the back. And it's gonna be some Indiana Jones shit right here. So as Crystal it ends up kind style. of piercing the hole, um, it is now uh, tethered um, to this ship that just went off this way. All right, Pa Ping, what would you like to do? Okay. Uh, the mast I'm on, it's got like, it's like a cross shape, right? To hold up the, the sides? Yeah, sure. Okay. How far of a distance is our ship from the red ship? About 10 feet. 10 feet, oh my okay. God. I want to attempt to run along the mast and jump onto the other ship. Oh, poor Fat Ping. He's a good, he's a good monkey. We are leaving you here. No, we got to fight some pirates, man. Unless you got some rocket boots. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Yeah. I mean, Acrobatics or stop. athletics? Oh, we're gonna die. Um, whichever you'd like to do. I'm gonna go with acrobatics. Okay. Sixteen. All right. So 
you end up running out towards the ship, and you leap. As I'm leaping, I'm going to scream out, this is the kind of shit I live for. He's a monk, right? Only by fighting style. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so as you end up leaping out um, that way, um, you end up splashing down into the water. Oh. Oh, shit. How far away from the ship? Um, you are probably about five feet away. So I only made it halfway. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, well, that didn't go exactly as planned. So, um, did that use my... Can I use, um, can I finish swimming over there, I guess? Yeah. And I'm going to assume that it's going to take the rest of my main action. Um, yeah. Okay, well, can, can I try to climb up, to, or am I out of stuff to do? You're out of stuff at this point. Okay, well, I'm going to start swimming over there then. Okay. And I guess I'm done. Okay. And give me a second here before you go, Kane. Wait, I'm going against the current. Am I going to be able to do that? Don't bring up stuff like that. Just, you made it. Just keep going, <laughs> man. You made it. You, you, just you're, be a boss, you're, man. Be, you're fine at this point. Be a captain. I'll put a little caption to these bitches. The ship's also kind of like moving towards you at this point. All right, give me a second here. I don't know what I'm going to do. Fight some pirates. I don't have any There's room. nothing... I was going to say, there's nothing wrong with just sitting on the boat and leaving everybody behind. <laughs> Leave, leaving no everyone to die. <laughs> yeah. I'm, you know, Odds are that was... <laughs> part of me always yeah. enjoys the combat where you can avoid it. I don't know. What, you enjoy avoiding combat? Or, like, f instead of just fighting, you just kind of find a way to get around it kind of thing? I think that's kind of cool. Well, I mean, that's what I was attempting to do until our monkey oh, just yeah. jumped off the back of a boat. Bob <laughs> 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 uh, Ping doesn't shy away from a fight. You... I hope you're like the cricket Mulan. <laughs> and you die... Because that's because that's pretty much what we're doing right now. Oh, man, I am against, one lucky bug against Sean Yu. <laughs> and and just to throw out there, like this thing, like this is a little skiff. Like we have no cargo. So pretty much like these guys were on their way to like mug somebody else and thought like fuck it let's just run them over just for fun <laughs> like, and then all of a sudden a monkey comes flying at their ship like these boats man if they have harpoons and stuff and like multiple levels they, they could literally just they could just run us over and not even think twice they, they, it, this is just they're fun this is like hitting hookers in Grand Theft Auto 5 <laughs> Where the I is. almost bought that today. Did you oh, see nice. the hoodie I bought? Yeah, dude, that was awesome. Is that not the sexiest hoodie you've ever seen? Yeah, buddy. Wait, I think I saw a hoodie that was Venom's hoodie. Is that what you're talking the about? The Venom hoodie, yeah. That was yours? Yeah, that was pretty awesome. I found an extra $200 in my check that I don't know where it came from, so I decided to spend it before my manager took it from me. <laughs> Dang. Brilliant. So I bought the Venom hoodie, I bought a Red Lantern t-shirt, a Predator t-shirt, and a Green Power oh, Ranger t-shirt. What t -shirt. Predator t-shirt? Uh, <coughs> I gotta find it. It's You know the logo for Batman the Animated Series? Yeah. It's like that, but instead of Batman standing on the roof, it's a Predator, and it says Predator the Animated Series. Hmm. 
I will look that up momentarily. Oh, we wait. Lose... Did we lose Daryl? No, he's doing something. Here I think he good. wasn't anticipating. I don't think he was anticipating we were going to jump onto the next boat. Yeah. Right so there. he now has to make the rest of an actual encounter now. Oh, that's awesome. That... That's so Predator 2. Just like, just like when... Uh... Wait, Bill, you weren't there the day that we let, uh, like Chris ran a campaign that lasted like one day. <laughs> no. And uh, <laughs> I don't know if you there. It just made me crack up because we basically, uh, and this is totally a Chris thing. Like you can see him doing this too. Like uh, we basically like started off. We gathered everybody. We got ready to leave town. We headed out. He basically told us that we were walking down the road for a little bit, and we come across a fork in the road. And he goes, which way do you guys want to go? Right or left? I'm ready for Kane's turn. Okay. Got to actually talk to girls to get a kid. <laughs> That's how we start this Dude, episode. I'm pretty... Technically, you don't <laughs> have to talk to them, but you could pull a boat out. No, you just gotta make uh, a really big mistake. I don't. I don't have any projectiles. I don't have anything, and I'm currently the only thing making our our boat go faster. Turn to bore so form, get into cannon, and we'll fire you at the ship. Um, don't you, you have, have like cannon? the uh, produce flame thing? You can Do throw I? fire at them. Uh, or we can just make the boat go faster. Do I have produce flame? Question mark. I don't know unless you changed it. Druid crafts produce flame. I have produce flame. Whoa! So, I don't know what that does, but it sounds awesome. What's the range on this bad boy? Um, range, thirty feet. We're burning that sucker That's, down. You can hit something, man. It'd be really nice to have B on this campaign with us. Yeah, B would run over there and she'd set everything on fire. She just hug a boat and it's game over. Right, so we're we're attempting to burn a hole in the hull, I guess. Wait, no. It, do I see anybody like right here, like on the the side that are shooting at us? So, sorry, I, I I missed all that. My headset died on me. Oh, I had to um, plug it in. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna produce flame mm -hmm. yonder. To um, okay. is there anybody there? Um, there are crew members um, on board if you'd like to target it, or you can just target the ship in general. Um, I'm gonna target. Uh, where's like most of them? Like on one side or the other, or just anywhere? Um, so there's a there's a couple guys on, along the side that have crossbows um, that are firing at you, um, okay. and then there's a, a guy up front that has um, a harpoon that um, he seems to be trying to position at you, but can't um, aim at you guys currently due to their their kind of positioning right, right I'm, now. I'm going to produce a flame so. here-ish okay. to kind of make... Uh, and I'm, I'm aiming at the boat Okay. to cause smoke and flames so the crossbow guys can't see. Okay. Okay, so... Ah! 14. All right. So you do hit the boat, Good. and you end up doing uh, some damage. Um, and so some of the uh, the railing and, and things on board um, do end up kind of catching fire a little bit. Um, and you start seeing the uh, crew members kind of scrambling to uh, deal with that. Ah, good. Yeah, they fucked right, the any, wrong. Anything else that you want to do? Uh, I Can I roll a survival check to see if I can increase our speed with the current from this river fitting into it? Uh, sure. 16. Um, unfortunately, you uh, don't think that is going to end up helping you much. Mm. Well, let's find a way to go faster, gentlemen. They outnumber us quite a bit. And my turn is done. All right. So, your boat kind of moves off this way. Oh, and... shit. I'm getting left behind. <laughs> Good thought to have now. It's moving this way. No, oh, no. Trying to move around here, um, but they are harpooned together, and so they have slowed down considerably as the um, crew members try to cut the uh, harpoon free. I got a plan. 
I'm gonna get myself captured and infiltrate their inner base. You going for it? Oh no! He's not gonna die. He's got the gray out with him. All right, and this guy moves up this way. All right, and how long do illusions last? It's weird. It doesn't actually say anything about like how they wake. Oh, the illusion. Um, yeah. The illusion lasts up, up to one hour. Looks like. Okay, as long as I can keep concentrating. Is it? Guess, is it yeah. Is it a concentration? I don't think you need a concentration. It's, it's a creature. Um, I mean, it says a creature can use its action to determine if a sound or an image is uh, an illusion. Okay. Um, but that's about it. Yeah, if you create, uh, yeah. Uh, but I think you like put it up and but, leave it, but, unless you end up casting it again. Yeah, it just says yeah. It if you dismiss it or an action cast, so it's still there. All right. Well, Flynn, it is your turn. Okay. Uh, I remember, Fa Ping jumped right? overboard. I think I got a plan. And, and Fa Ping is like right here. Wait, is he in the water? Yeah, he's in the water. I think I have a plan, guys. Don't worry. <laughs> I think I should cast suggestion, and the suggestion would be just everybody gang up on popping. <laughs> so Bill and I keep going. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, a two-man campaign from here. Yes. <laughs> we'll and then make, there we'll make do. Jake roll a new character. No worries. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh. I see. I don't have anything that like doesn't. Can I determine if there's like a captain? Can I like if I recognize a captain of a ship or, or anybody that may be leading this charge in one of the two boats? Yeah, go ahead and do an insight check for me. Ah, oh, goddamn it! Uh, insight, 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 insight. Wait. They all look like pirates, is what I'm assuming. <laughs> it's, yeah, yeah, pretty much. looks like a pirate. They all seem to be kind of yelling at each other, and and you can't really determine to see if there's anyone who is particularly giving orders. Um, and so, under your best assumptions, you think that the guy that's at the helm is the captain. So the guy driving. Okay. <sighs> Let's do. Uh, sorry, I should have thought of this. All right. Um, well, I don't have to cast Bardic Inspiration on anybody anymore. Uh, Friends is out of the mix. Uh, I guess I can either cast. Does anybody look like they're about to shoot us? Um, not at this point, because this guy needs to kind of position towards you, so they might be able to position on their next turn to uh, fire at you. But these guys, they are still working on reloading their their harpoon. So unless their crossbowmen get close enough to fire at you, probably not. Okay. All right. Um, here's what I'll do for for Fa Ping. Could I fire a, a bolt and try? Oh God, he's gonna die. Can I shoot a bolt above Fa Ping so he can use it to try to climb up the boat? You're gonna ruin my plan. Oh, okay. I was gonna help you out, yo. I was going to shoot a bolt just above you so you can grab it. How? Postpone your turn, and if mine doesn't work, you can do that. That's a great idea. Okay, my character is going to see what Fa Ping's going to do, and he's going to try to assist him Okay. by holding his turn. Fa Ping, it is your turn. Okay. The harpoon that hit this boat, is it on the I same side that I'm at? Yeah, it's kind of on this uh, back side over here. Okay. Are uh, these boats are made of wood, right? Yes. Uh, is there, like, possibly, like, a piece of wood I might be able to rip off from the from where the impact hit? That you could rip off? 
Yeah, like a small piece of wood. Uh, approximately, like what size? Like a foot, a couple inches? Uh, like a, a uh, whole plank? No, not that big. Like big Badger enough sized, for like, short like size. for me to get a footing on. Like if I were to kind of try to stand on it. Yeah, there, there's definitely like splintered wood that's in that that area over there. If there's a bowl. Yeah. Okay. Do you want me to roll a, a strength check for that? See if I can get it. And and you want to you want to rip it off, or you just want to use yeah. it to climb up? I want to rip it off. I want to take it. Oh yeah, do a strength check. Come on, fourteen. Hold, hold. I cast Bardic Inspiration as a reaction. On fapping. Okay. If you add D6. Do you want to add a D6? 16. All right. So you are able to, um, with that little bit of extra might that you are able to suddenly muster as it like doesn't seem to budge at first and then you end up kind of hearing these songs of the great oak uh, resounding behind you over the, the waves of the, the river and uh, you're able to finally um, wrench it loose. Okay. Now, I want to take a piece of rope from my adventurer's pack Mm-hmm. And I want to tie it to one of my throwing stars, and I want to throw it at our boat. So you're throwing a throwing star with a rope tied onto it? Yes, at our boat. So he can ride back. 22 to versus AC. I'm going to surf back. I'm going to use the boat, <laughs> and I'm going to surf on it. <laughs> okay. Um, so, you end up, uh, throwing this, uh, throwing star rope as if it's like it's a Mugatu a throwing star, by the way, for everybody who didn't know. <laughs> Mugatu, oh my god. <laughs> I have Mugatu throwing stars. <laughs> um, so you end up, uh, throwing it over there, um, and it does kind of end up wrapping around the, the railing um, since you've got pretty good aim. Um, and unfortunately, since it's kind of a makeshift um, grappling hook, um, it does seem like it starts to um, loosen up. And so, Flynn, you do end up noticing this as you are watching Fa Ping and, and trying to assist him. I might, just out of curiosity, based on my knowledge of, of the power mending if I was to say, like, mend around, like, if I was to try to mend the boat while the throwing star would in that, would it push the throwing star out, or would it, like, seal around the throwing star? Do I know this, is, I guess, my question. Do I know the answer to this? I don't think you do know the answer to this. Okay. Uh, <laughs> this doesn't help me at all. Fuck. Okay. Um, well, shit, dude. My character's so damn little. We need like somebody that's like of elk size or bear size <laughs> to do what? To grab onto that KO and pull his ass up. Hmm. Um, well, you could I just guess secu- while we- you could help secure it, maybe. Do do you think I do you think that that's something that requires strength? In my opinion, like my character be like, do I have the strength to do this, or am I really well, screwed? You're not. You're not exactly. Like, am I too? Because you're not pulling it up. Like it's it's got a bit of a hold right here, um, but after a little bit of tension, um, you don't think it'll end up holding for much longer. So if you can figure okay. out a way to secure it in any way. Yeah, sure. Okay, so I I'm gonna do, okay. I'm so I'm gonna use my uh, my carry torch that I have in my pack. 
mm-hmm. and I'm going to use that as a hammer, as a bludgeoning device to do a basic melee and try to hammer the throwing star in a little bit further into the boat so that its hold stays. Okay. Unless there's slack on the rope, and I think I can actually, like, knot it. That's my plan. All right, yeah. Whichever yeah. one I feel is more likely to happen. <laughs> you you and pick one I have, and you can go I, with it. Can I have magic hand? All right. Um, let's try to bludgeon and hammer that in. And um, as I as I call out that I need bare strength. <laughs> All right. Go ahead and do do a strength check for me. A strength check. Oh, fuck yeah. me. All right. Don't fail me, Flynn. I have no strength. Dude, I'm a halfling. I'm a tiny little halfling. Okay. Strength check. But an average average oh, person. <laughs> okay. Now I punch a hole in my own boat. Fantastic. You you are a halfling need... member. You rolled a one. What does that happen? So, I fall overboard. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna die. All I had to do was just not do anything. I think that's my that's my go to from now on. <laughs> no, you have the you have the lucky skill trait, remember? Oh shit, I do. I take that seventeen. Alright. Now is it is it you take the seventeen or or do you re roll? And I don't remember, but I'm so excited for the first time in my life that I have <laughs> that I picked lucky. Oh boy. Um <clears throat> Wait, is it bard or is it halfling? Shit, I don't even know where my All right, so stuff is. When you roll a one on attack roll or save, you may re-roll the die. All right. You want me to just re-roll it or re-roll it. take yeah. the? Yeah, re-roll it. I don't want to re-roll it. I'm happy with that. Seventeen is really nice. I know that's what the. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take the 19. I'll take the 19. I'm sorry, you can't take the 19. You have to take the 3. I just pulled Can lucky Robbie Pollock. Can be lucky again? I just pulled a Robbie Pollock. I don't think I can get lucky again. I think it's like... That really is like... You know what? I'm just wow. going to roll it one more time. Here, one oh. more time. And if I get another one, I die. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I almost got Jeremy Nold, man. Yeah, <laughs> you got three speaking. ones in a row, you're dead. Three, just no matter what, three ones no matter in a row, what the you're circuit, dead. You could be fucking cooking breakfast in the morning. Three ones equals you die. <laughs> Brain by a series of unfortunate <laughs> events. <laughs> fucking meteor falls from the sky because you just wrote three Pretty ones. Pretty much. <laughs> Might as well. It sinks the damn boat. Okay. Uh, well. So, how does my bludgeoning of the side of our boat go? So you end up uh, heading up there and you go to um, kind of hammer this uh, um, throwing star in there. And so as you I would end like up, to throw out my character that says, Great Oak, give me strength as I hold it above my head. Now, now you, are, you are using this torch like as a hammer and like just like right. knocking into it, right? Yep. I was so, just trying to kind of push it in a little bit further. So as you end up doing that, you knock into it, and as you kind of you know pull your hand back to to like hit it again, you notice that the throwing star is gone, and you're like kind of confused at this when all of a sudden you feel this tug on the torch that you were holding, <laughs> and oh, no. you notice that the throwing star is now lodged into the wood of the torch. And before you can end up reacting, it pulls you overboard. What the hell was that, I... man? <laughs> <laughs> By the way, Keith, you are muted. I don't know if you were saying anything. Oh, I was just I was just discussing okay. how my death. Yeah. And that this is a great way to go. And so Oh boy! Now there's no one who knows. And I don't. I don't know if you. I don't know if you overheard when I said that before I swung. I put the hammer over my head and said, "Grado, give me strength." <laughs> I hammered the thing so hard that I stuck it in the other end. Okay, awesome. Now so, I'm overboard. 
So, Kane, you hear a, a splash behind you. Um, I'd like to use a free action to say, Fa Ping, save me. 